Hello everyone. Uh, I hope all of you are doing well. So this video is basically for lab 6C. Uh, and in this video, we will um, basically just go through the two questions that, that are there in lab 6C. And we'll try to complete them. Um, so starting with the first question. It says that we're supposed to require, uh, we're supposed to write a method uh, called add name, which will take a string array called names, and it is also returning a string array. All right. Uh, and uh, this method should be able to find out if a string array with position with 10 positions is full or has additional free positions. That means uh, maybe this array is full or maybe it's not. We have to figure out if it is full or not. And if the if the array is full, the program should print out a message to the user and terminate. And it, that message could be uh, print. Um, it, it, it could print something like array full. All right. And if any uh, free position is available, the program should prompt the user to add an, a name to the array and assign the name entered to the next free position in the array. So we're supposed to ask uh, the user to add a name just like it's done here. The user gives you a name and then you go at, you, uh, and the program should then go and assign it. Uh, assign that particular name to the next free position in the array. So wherever that free, free position is, um, you uh, the program should assign the name that the user gives you to that position. Now the program should repeatedly add the user um, ask. It should be ask. Okay, uh, the program should repeatedly ask the user to enter names until either the user says no or the array is full. So you should keep asking. So once you're done adding the name, it should print name added successfully. And then after that, it should have, uh, add, I mean, you should ask on the same line, add another, enter Y or N. And if the, if the user enters Y, uh, then you should proceed to prompt again. But if the user, um, but, but that should be in, in only the case when, the array is not full. If the array is full and and the user has entered Y, then uh, you just print array full and that's it. You terminate. But if the user presses N, then you have to stop. All right, you have to uh, stop asking the user for a prompt for the name, and you should display the updated array. All right, so. Here, the first thing we should do is basically create the method. All right. So I'll just copy the method signature from here and I'll just add public static and then paste this. So this is going to be the return type, which is a string array. The name of the method is add name and then there is string array um, that is being taken as a parameter, which is called names. All right. Now, here, um, the first thing that we need to check basically is if there is, um, okay, before that, we know that we have to prompt the user uh, repeatedly for name, right? So for that, we should have um, a scanner right because we need to read from the user so the first thing i would create is a scanner input is equal to new scanner system dot in that's for reading all right now once i'm done with that i need a variable to store the responses right the name that the user is giving the y the n i need a variable for storing that so I'll just create a new variable called, uh, sorry, create a new string object called string response with an empty string. All right. And 
the the whole purpose of this program is to figure out what at what index is there okay uh, because this is a string array and string is basically a class it's not a primitive data type <clears throat> if there is a position that is empty in this uh, array for string that position will be denoted by null all right that means that if uh, there is let's say uh, at the, the, there are 10 positions or there are 10 index uh, sorry there are 10 items in this array maybe only 5 of them are filled maybe only 5 and only only until index 4 there are uh, there is values in the array after that it, there is nothing that the the empty uh, indexes are then denoted with null so if you want to check if a position is empty or if an index is empty or not you you have to check it with null all right but the purpose is you have to find out that index where the value is null so in order to store that index uh, the the index that is null i'll just create a variable called int index 0 I'll, I'll give it a value of 0 all right now i know that i have to uh, ask user basically okay i have to uh, prompt the user to add a name and then once they give me the name i have to i uh, figure out if the array is full if it is not i add the name and then i ask the user if they want to repeat it or not that kind of um, coding we can do it using do while all right i mean you can choose anything there is no um, no like specific way specific rule that you have to use a while loop or a do while loop it's up to you just code it appropri appropriately and if it's if it works then it's fine all right so for do while the, the the thing here is we need to keep repeating or keep asking the user as long as they give y for an answer here and as long as we are not the index is not uh, equal to the length or greater than the length of the array all right so that would be my condition i would say uh before that i have to prompt the user right so i will just prompt the user in the loop here um system dot out dot print ln okay and then i will get their response and i want to store it in an index right uh so i will for now i will leave this empty for uh, read and store i'll show you how that is done after that, if the name is successfully added, all right, then we have to print this whole statement, right? Name successfully added, all of that, and then wait for the user's response again. So I would write system dot out dot print ln, okay, and then I would read that response so i would just write response is equal to input dot next okay um and that would give me the y or n so this is basically here we're supposed to read name uh, and store it in the array i'll show you how to do that but for the response which is y or n what i'm doing is i'm reading it from the user and i'm storing it in the response um, string all right and this loop will only repeat if the user gives you a response yes so response dot equals ignore case y if the user gives you a response of y and you are not outside the bound of the array so names dot length okay if you're outside the bound of the array then how are you going to add a new name right so in that case also you you're supposed to stop looping so this is the basic 
structure, right? But the problem is we are supposed to figure out the um, the first free index or the index where the there is no value still, all right? So in that case, we have to write if, okay, no, with, without if, because we have to go through the whole array, right, to check which position is empty. So in that case, you can have a small while loop, all right, you'll say while um, index is less than names.length and the current value is not equal to null. Okay, as long as the index is less than the bound and the current value is not equal to null, you just keep looping. All right, you just keep looping, keep looping. But at the moment, this becomes null. This value, the current value that you have is null. You stop looping and you'll have that current index that's there. So let's say at index four, um, the, the value is null. So this condition would be satisfied because the question says that there are 10 names, but this condition would not be uh, satisfied because that value is null. So you would come out of this loop and you'll have that index, which is four, right? Which, which was null. And then you can uh, keep, um, you can keep um, adding them, all right? So now this specific, um okay yeah so this now this these specific lines should only repeat if the index is for if the index is actually at uh, has a value null right so we have to check if names of index is equal to equal to null all right if it is null then you keep um, you know prompting the user to add the name all right and if it is not null right then okay uh, if it is null then um, you should keep prompting the user. But there's another situation where we need to print if the array is full, right? So in that case, we will check if index is less than, um, sorry, is equal to, equal to names, or you can even say is greater than or equal to names dot length. If this is the case, because that means you've reached the end of the uh, array while looping here, right? And that means you never found a, a value at an index which is none. So in that case, you would just print out system dot out dot print ln array full. All right. So that is how you would do. Finally, you have to print out the updated array, right? So you can do that outside the the outer loop, which is here. You can print out system.out.print ln updated array. And then we would have a for loop. Now, because I already have an int index here, I don't have to write int again here. I can just reset it to zero again. And normally I would write the others as well. Um, okay, so <clears throat> index should be less than names dot length. And it should not be null. So if there's a null value, don't print it also, all right? So you, you have to write and, or, or I'll, I'll show you how it works. Um, 
plus plus index all right uh, and you can just print out system dot out dot print ln names of index now finally we have a return right because we have to return the the string that is updated so what you can do finally is just write return names now if i click on pre-check there should be an issue but let's see if there is not um yes now the problem here is uh it's printing the nulls okay one thing that we forgot to do we actually forgot i i should have told you to do this right so here if the names of index is equal to equal to null you're supposed to write names of index is equal to input dot next so you read the name from the user and you directly assign it to the um, index in the names array which is null uh, the value of which is null so if i pre-check now yes see it's giving me the correct answer but the only thing is it's printing null because there's one value in the array that is still null so <clears throat> you're you're supposed to change your answer in a way that if there are null values the updated array does not print it so all you need to do here you can just write an and uh, you can add another statement here you can say and names of index is not equal to null all right and if you click on pre-check now it should be fine right so it did not display the null uh, value just remember null only works with class or uh, like object array all right it wouldn't work with int array it wouldn't work with float boolean because those are primitive data types it would work with a string array or any other object that you create uh, it will work with that also all right now if i click on check let's see if it's correct okay so it says there's an error uh, it says index 10 out of 10 uh, index 10 out of bounds for length 10 so somewhere the index is becoming equal to or greater than the bound so here if we add um index should be less than because at some point maybe the index is equal to the uh the names dot length uh the length of the array so in that case this condition would like it would try to execute this condition which would result in out of bounds just like now so what you can do is add just add before before this condition just add index should be less than names dot length and names of index is equal to equal to none so if we try to check it now let's see what happens yeah now it's correct now it has shown that array is full or array full and then it has uh, displayed the updated array all right so this is the first question